The Navy has now commissioned its second block for Virginia-class attack submarine as part of its ongoing process to build its force as more Los Angeles-class submarines retire and the global threat circumstance intensifies block for Virginia-class submarines are an interesting bridge between the massively upgraded Block 3 boats and the in-development Block B Virginia payload modules boats. The arrival of the USS Oregon, recently commissioned in New London, Connecticut, is a welcome development for many Navy ship developers who have in recent years expressed concern about a coming submarine shortfall in future years as legacy platforms retire. While Russia is rapidly modernizing its cruise missile fleet and at the same time, the U.S. Navy is building a large version of the Virginia class that carries more missiles. Russia recently unveiled the Krasnoyarsk which is a Project 885M Yazanem class, aka Sivirodvinsk II class, ship representing the most modern and powerful attack submarines in Russia's inventory. The U.S. Navy is currently building eight new submarines that are on par with the Yazan MS in terms of weapon payload, the new Block V Virginia-class submarines will have additional missile tubes with a 76% increase in firepower over the current Virginia. The submarine will have a standard loadout of 12 to 40-plus slots in the torpedo bay for a total of 66 guns inside. Virginia-class submarine. The hope among many Navy leaders and members of Congress has for many years been to uptick, accelerate and increase production of Virginia-class boats to ensure the existing fleet can meet growing requests from combatant commanders in high-threat areas of the world. For many years, the Navy has been studying the U.S. industrial base capacity and engaged in discussion with Congress for the specific purpose of exploring the option of building three new Virginia-class boats per year, or at least maintaining a pace of two per year once the Columbia-class boats start arriving. A Navy report on the commissioning says the USS Oregon is 377 feet long, has a 34-foot beam and is able to dive to depths greater than 800 feet and operate at speeds in excess of 25 knots. The submarine has a crew of nearly 140 Navy personnel. Compared TI the Virginia-class, Yazan M-class submarines still have more slots for a total of around 72 torpedo-sized weapon. However, Fewer of these were in the vertical launch tube. The Yazan M-class submarines also have 32 vertical tubes that can accommodate three types of missile and the Yazan torpedo bay will be extended over two decks. The Virginia Block V-class submarines will be the closest to the SSGN the U.S. Navy has when it enters service. The U.S. Navy also currently operates four covert Ohio-class Tomahawk which is caliber 3M14K, this long-range subsonic missile has been tested in combat conditions in Syria. The Virginia Block V-class submarines will be equipped with the latest Tomahawk missile called Block V, with an anti-ship role. This weapon serves a dual purpose and can be used to defend its ground attack credential. The U.S. Navy will also add hypersonic weapons and anti-ship-capable Tomahawk. Fast-attack submarines are multi-mission platforms enabling five of the six Navy Maritime Strategy core capabilities, sea control, power projection, forward presence, maritime security, and deterrence. They are designed to excel in anti-submarine warfare, anti-ship warfare, strike warfare, special operations, intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance, irregular warfare and mine warfare. Fast Attack Submarines project power ashore with special operations forces and Tomahawk cruise missiles in the prevention or preparation of regional crises.
Oregon and the other Virginia-class submarines will not only sustain, but exploit our edge in undersea warfare. Soon Oregon will employ her stealth, her flexibility, her superior firepower and her endurance to travel silently throughout the world's oceans undetected, collecting intelligence, preparing for battle and, if necessary, striking from the deep swiftly without warning to answer the nation's call. Block for Virginia-class submarines incorporate design changes focused on reduced total ownership cost. By making these smaller-scale design changes to increase the component-level life cycle of the submarine, the Navy will increase the periodicity between depot maintenance availabilities and increase the number of deployments. Blocks 1 to 3 Virginia-class submarines are planned to undergo for depot maintenance availabilities and conduct 14 deployments. Block 4 design changes are intended to reduce planned availabilities by 1 to 3 and increase deployments to 15. Other speakers at the commissioning ceremony included Kevin Graney, President of General Dynamics Corps Electric Boat Shipyard, as well as U.S. Senator Richard Blumenthal and U.S. Representative Joe Courtney of Connecticut. The Master of Ceremonies was Lieutenant Commander Colin Hedges, Executive Officer of the USS Oregon.